Good morning, friends. Welcome back. Say hi. She needs to brush her hair. She just crawled out of bed. Your arm hurts. Um, I woke them up a little bit ago, but they just came downstairs and they're having a very late breakfast. It's quarter after 11 and I thought I'd bring you along. I am going to be decluttering and organizing our master bathroom today, or at least that's the goal. Um, I'm gonna do some stuff downstairs first, catch up on like email and stuff, but I jumped out of bed and took my shower, did my, well, I did not do my hair, but I'm letting my hair dry, put on a little bit of makeup to look presentable, and then I'm gonna spend some time upstairs in the master bath. Our air conditioning is finally fixed. It was out for three weeks. They finally got the part in and they came and fixed it two days ago. So thank God for that. It's kind of yucky and rainy out today, so it's a good day to be inside um, cleaning and decluttering. The kids are having, like I said, a late breakfast right now. I picked up some mini blueberry muffins at Aldi the other day, so they're having um, two mini muffins and half of a banana. Alice is still waking up. She has not gotten to the table yet. Uh, they need to do 20 minutes of reading and one worksheet this morning before they can have electronics, so Jackson, please get off your iPad. Uh, 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 there's always excuses. Nope, you need to do your reading and your worksheet, please. Uh, what else? Later today, I have a um, small group with some friends. We're reading the book Fervent, and we do like a weekly chapter study together, so that's kind of fun. Um, gets me out of the house and around some really great like-minded women. And Will's at work. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my downstairs stuff. I do have to read this week's chapter of Fervent and answer the study guide questions. I should probably do that before I go clean so that way I know it's done, but knowing me, I'm gonna wanna declutter first because, because that's my mentality. So I'll let you know what happens. I've been very bad. It is 12.47 and I have not made it upstairs yet to start the bathroom. Alice did her own hair. <laughs> I think this is the first time she probably looked at it. Huh? Yeah. It looked better before. It looked better before. She's adorable. Tell them what we're doing tomorrow. Get in my hair done. Get in my hair done. Speak like a normal person. Get in my hair done. Not just yours. We're going together, right? Yes. Will got me for Mother's Day slash birthday last month. Um, he didn't, he was going to get a gift card for it. He didn't know how much it was going to cost, but he's sending Alice and I to get our hair done together. So I am getting, so my hair is currently um, real long, right? When it's behind my back, it's actually to like the top of my butt. Alice, can you record real quick? Cool. Can you record real quick? That's not a cardinal. Show no, them how long. The one it, it's There's not, honey. That wasn't a cardinal. It was a There's one on head. the floor. Oh, there is. She ain't lying. And there's a there's a female right there up on the fence. Okay, we scared them. I don't even know if they saw anything because you couldn't see the through the viewfinder. There was a cardinal, a male yeah. one, and a female one. Did you see the female one uh -huh. up on the fence? The male was down there. We don't get them very. I know. I I didn't believe her. My bad. Anyway, we'll oh record. Show them real quick how long my hair is in the back because it's not very often that they see the back. Right. George, yeah. So it's long, and I am going to get it cut, and Alice is going to get hers cut. Do you do you want to tell that my battery's about to die? How short are you getting yours? Shoulder length. Shoulder length. I can't see because the lighting there is bad. Come away from the windows. So she, they know what shoulder length is. So she's getting shoulder length. Her hair is also down to her butt, basically. She's getting shoulder length and possibly going to do some purple color right yeah that'll be fun and I am going to get some I'm gonna cut mine just below shoulder length probably a little bit long um, so I have a little bit of length to it probably about here um, maybe a little short I don't know I don't know I haven't had a haircut in so many years taking off so many inches um, and I'm also getting colored on I think I'm gonna do like some auburns and reds this is my natural color I have some like natural like a highlight to it, like, I don't know. It's got some reddish tint to it. Um, can't really tell right now. Anyway, enough about my hair. I need to go declutter the bathroom. And I just wanted to let you know that we are going to get our hair done tomorrow, cut and color. So I'm gonna open up a bang key lime 
This one's pretty tasty. Um, and this is probably my favorite bang, actually, that I've tried. And we've tried a lot of them. I'm gonna go start the bathroom. I'll show you the before. I have to do my closet and all my drawers. Somebody is FaceTiming somebody. Okay. All right, so we're upstairs, master bedroom, going into the master bath. Lighting's gonna be a little yellow up here because that's just how our lights are in the bathroom. Um, ooh, buddy, let me see if I can adjust that. Anyway, that's, this is, hold on, let me, let me do something. There you go, that's better. I just had to stop recording, let it adjust, and then start recording. Um, I just, <laughs> funny story. We are, I'm doing a new laundry, like, method where Monday through Friday we do one load a day. Monday I do mine and Will's laundry after his work week. Tuesday is Alice's laundry day. I'm teaching the children, well, I've taught the children how to do their own laundry from start to finish. We make it easy by using like the pods, that way they aren't spilling soap in the laundry room. I use like soap out of the big jug for myself, but for the kids, they use, um, it's not Tide Pods, it's a different brand, but you know, the pods. And they know how to do the laundry from start to finish and even putting it away. So that was, that's very helpful for me because that's two less loads of laundry each week that I have to do. So Monday I do mine and Wells. Tuesday Alice does hers from start to finish. Wednesday Jack does his from start to finish. Thursday I do a load of towels and Friday I do any bedding that needs washed. That way I'm not stuck doing laundry on weekends and I'm not stuck playing catch up and doing multiple loads in a day because I hate, I don't mind the laundry process up until folding and putting away which is really the hard part because the washing and drying the machine does for you and that's probably why I don't mind it. Um, but the folding and put away is just not my favorite. So that's been our new thing. So I just said it's currently Wednesday hence Jackson's laundry day. So I was like, go ahead and head upstairs and start your laundry. And then you can get on and play some video games with your cousin. Today is my nephew's birthday up in Michigan. He turned 10. <sighs> um, so anyway, I think he was so excited to get on and play with his cousin that he threw his clothes in, started the wash. And I just had this funny feeling. I was like, I should probably ask him if he put the soap in, like the soap pack. He did not. So I had to stop the washer. And my washer is a front loader, so it locks. So I was able to stop the cycle and turn the machine off, but I wasn't able to open the door because water had already been running and it was going to be locked until the process finished. That is the downfall with this washer. You can't just open it and throw things in like you can a top loader. Um, so I was able to stop it, but then I just, I poured soap and laundry softener in like the regular way in the little drawer. But I was like, you were way too excited. You need to remember, how else are your clothes going to be clean if you don't have soap in there? So anyway, that's what happened there. Um, I think someone's texting me. Will is texting me. So I texted Will the same story. He's like, that boy. Anyway, here is what I'm going to be working on today. This is our like linen closet. Um, the top has a bunch of sheets, which I'm probably gonna get rid of a lot. Some of those we just never use. Um, anyway, so that top shelf sh I'm gonna declutter. This is the shelf that usually houses just towels. I was at Costco like a month or so ago and I was like, I think we need toilet paper. <laughs> we did not need toilet paper. So now we have toilet paper like down here and then I had to shove some extra ones up here. So that shelf typically does not have toilet paper on it. Um, the middle shelf is like, I kind of had it organized. I have like feminine care products. Um, I buy the Goalie apple cider vinegar ones with, like six months at a time. So I have backups of that. I don't remember why I bought this. This is probably gonna be trashed. I have a little caddy back there to organize. This is all like travel size stuff, like when I get samples. I even labeled it body and oral care. You can see I, I have organized this at some point. The hair one, which is usually like hair sample, like um, like small shampoos and stuff. This has all of Alice's nail polish in it. Um, some extra shampoo and conditioner that we like started and didn't finish because we either didn't like it. If we didn't like it, why would I keep it? I don't know, because I don't like throwing things away. That's the problem. So. Um, just, you know, some stuff. And then this caddy has toothbrushes and toothpaste. This has, I don't even know. Um, so that's that. And then over here we have, Will and I each have a side of the sink. So this is Will's side. That's my side. Will's stuff is pretty organized. Um, he's got, okay, when I say organized, I, I mean, it's, it is what it is, right? Um, I'll organize that. This has, like, our hair cutting stuff backup deodorant, backup contact solution. His side isn't really bad. I just need to go through and kind of straighten it. Um, 
our shower head because we that was on when we moved into our rent that we rented townhouse that's the shower head that was on here when we moved in we switched it to a new one so we just have that one here in case we take ours with us um, our water flosser that we bought and don't use i don't know why i continue to buy them that's the second time i've done that uh cleaning supplies more hair products over there this is like a cleaning toothbrush for when i'm cleaning stuff um anyway that's under the sink and then we have my side starting at the bottom because that's like not the worst it looks bad but that's because there's curling irons hair dryers and crimpers in here as well as boxes for stuff i don't even know this drawer is going to get a complete overhaul look at all this okay i don't know how much of that i use ever yeah, so we're going to be getting rid of stuff. This is like, I see a hair product. I'm like, oh, that'll be good. Like, actually, this came free in um, maybe a Walmart box or like a FabFitFun. I can't remember. But like, I don't have curly hair. Why do I Why do I have this? Because I don't like throwing stuff away, right? And then this top drawer stuff I actually reach for pretty regularly. This is backup makeup that I don't keep in my regular makeup bag, which was in the drawer below. Deodorant brush something small like travel size I don't, contacts so we're gonna work on this i'll show you when we're done what it's looking like you can focus yeah see how long this is i'm gonna get all that cut off it's crazy Ooh, i look pregnant when i stand like that um okay let's get going all right I'll take you through our countertop is still kind of cluttered but it's stuff we use pretty much daily so like this is will's corner and like our toothpaste and stuff we have these little post-it notes. I don't know if I've ever shared these. Um, we have had these since bef since we were dating. So these post-it notes are super old. They're probably like 10 years old. Um, we used to leave post-its for each other on the mirrors. They have come with us through multiple moves. Um, they've hit multiple apartments, multiple states, and we always just put them back up. So, uh, and this is my corner, and this is ridiculous because here's the thing. I bought a bunch of the ordinary products um, to do skincare routine, and then I had a friend who sells skincare stuff, so then I got a bunch of lemongrass spa products because I hosted a party and got a lot of credit. So this stuff kind of stays out here because depending on my mood, I, I use different things for my face. So I know it's kind of cluttered, I know it's kind of ridiculous, but it is what it is. Okay, so. Here is the after. Um, the top shelf, you'll notice all the sheets are pretty much gone. Uh, I took the extra sheet set that we had and I put it under our bed so I know which size goes with what. We have a king size in our room. We have a queen size in the guest room slash office. This is an extra twin sheet for the kids' bunk beds and extra pillowcases. I got rid of a ton of sheet sets, I'll show you. Then I have um, like excess, like a bunch of Clorox and disinfecting wipes. Um, flushable wipes, and then a refill for the shower spray that I keep in the shower. Towels are now here. Well, the cup towels have been here. And then hand towels and washcloths, which we don't have a ton. Oh, I need to yawn. <sighs> I've been in here for a while. It's 2.30 now. Um, this is just like some excess stuff that I'm not ready to get rid of. I have extra medication in here. My um, apple cider vinegar gummies are up there. We've got our first aid kit and our basket extra peroxide in the back. These baskets or totes are still organized. And then feminine products. This right here, I didn't mention in the beginning. I um, decided to get reusable, like instead of buying cotton rounds, I got reusable like face rounds. So this is where I put the dirty ones. And then when I'm done, I just throw this whole thing in the wash and they get washed. I'll show you the rounds in one of my drawers. This is extra shampoo and conditioner. I did get rid of some. Um, I kind of forgot that we had these. Like I bought them on clearance at Meyer, like a dollar for this Aussie. So Alice and I both um, use conditioner, so that'll come in handy. And then the nail polish bin, extra toilet paper, um, extra toothpaste, toothbrushes. We get all the toothbrushes from the dentist. We use the Quip toothbrushes a lot. Oh, I have extra razors back there too from when I used to do couponing, so I have a lot of them. Uh, we use the Quip toothbrushes, so we don't use often have to use the ones we get from the dentist. This is Will's drawer afterwards, nice and organized. This drawer has our hair cutting stuff. We had two kits, so we're, we got rid of our old one, extra deodorant and 
um, contact solution. And then this bottom one just has our that. Underneath, I've got cleaning supplies, um, disinfecting and toilet cleaner, uh, Norwex wipes and cleaners. These are three different types of Epsom salts when I take baths, baking soda, and Drano, because sometimes our drains get kind of clogged. The, oh, I haven't actually done this drawer. Um, ignore that. I'll, I'll get back to that. This probably won't change much. I was so excited that I finished these top drawers that I forgot I didn't finish that bottom one. Here's my middle drawer. So here's the face rounds. So they're just like cloth. And so when I'm washing my face with um, what, whatever, usually I use them when I'm using like cleansing water or whatnot. So this does have a method. My makeup bag is here. This is hair products and like perfume. I have one spray, one perfume, and then this is all hair products that I do use. This is all face, facial products that I do use. Most of it's like witch hazel, micellar water, um, hold it for you. My toner from SkinCeuticals, a um, thermal, thermal spring water spray. Alice really likes this. It came in a FabFitFun box and she likes to spray it on her face. And there's some extra stuff back there I don't use often, but I didn't want to get rid of quite yet. And my makeup. Well, it's not my makeup drawer. Um, this is stuff I reach for pretty frequently. Yes, yeah, you'll see some extra pregnancy tests back there because you never know when you might need one. We're not trying but we're not preventing either TMI. Um, so I keep a few on hand in case things are running a little late. This is extra makeup that I don't use like in my daily bag, um, but I do want to keep on hand. I got rid of a lot, I'll show you. Deodorant, my contacts, some lotions and stuff. So, Will is over here. Oh, the lighting, hold on. Uh, Will is over here, as I said, um, he's on, he's trying to get connect with support for Microsoft because our Xbox in our bedroom stopped working. So that's fun. Garbage bag. This had some stuff in it already, so, but this is like almost full. This is everything that's getting thrown away. It's either expired, um, near empty, stuff I don't use. So lots and lots of stuff. It's kind of ridiculous. This is the stuff I'm able to donate. There's some sheet sets, pillowcases, um, like a travel 31 um, travel like toiletry tote, our extra hair cutting set, a toothbrush holder, some shower hooks. So those will all get donated and this will all get trashed, which is again, ridiculous. All right, I cleaned another few small spaces like my nightstand drawer and stuff, but it wasn't like recording worthy. It is 4.30. So after I cleaned, actually Will and I sat down and cause as I was cleaning out my nightstand, I found a few, um, books that he and I used to do together like devotional type things and so I did our like little daily devotional for couples and then we have another book called gosh I don't remember stay married hashtag stay married um a couple's guide like a weekly weekly like you do a devo it's like a 30 minute weekly devotional so we also went through and read that because it had been a while so he was just laying in bed and I was like you know what you're laying here I'm gonna read these so we did those um and kind of talked and connected a little bit since we don't see a lot of each other during the week with his work hours and sleeping and stuff so it's 4 30 now i'm going to read um like i said i have small group tonight with some friends from my homeschool group and we get together every wednesday and we are currently reading the book fervent which is a woman's battle plan for serious specific and strategic prayer uh, we do one chapter a week and so we are going to go over what chapter are we on i think we're in chapter seven um what yeah chapter S strategy seven your purity staying strong in your most susceptible places so talking how the devil tempts you satan tempts you towards certain sins um and i'll answer the study guide questions to go along with that and i have to leave here in about 45 minutes i'm going to charge my watch because i just noticed it's getting kind of low the kids and Will, can ha they have leftovers uh, from last night. I made pork carnitas from Aldi. If you have not seen my Aldi haul I just did, it was like $155 Aldi haul. I hadn't been to Aldi since before like the whole pandemic COVID stuff started. So a year and almost a year and a half. So it was nice to be back in there and get a haul. At least I think that's my first time back since then. The kids are outside playing, 
so it's just quiet in the house and I'm going to sit and relax, read my chapter, answer my questions. I am picking up dinner on my way for myself on my way to small group. I ordered a uh, chicken salad from a place called, what's it called? Chicken, chi where's my phone? I don't know. Chicken lady, chicken, chicken salad, chicken, chicken, <laughs> chicken salad chick. So I ordered dinner from chicken salad chick for myself. I got a chicken salad croissant with a grape salad as a side. So I'm gonna pick that up, go to my friend's house. Um, someone is actually meeting there, meeting me there to buy um, some connects off me, so, like the kids. I have connects and they never play with them, so she's gonna buy them from me. She's meeting me at my friend's house to take them. And then I'm gonna go in and eat dinner with friends and we'll talk about our book and just have a few hours of fellowship and fun, so. Oh, fun story, not fun. Uh, the other day, uh, we had a boys um, like play date here at the house for our homeschool social group. And so I hosted a boys perler bead party where they can make perler bead designs like Fortnite ones, like this is the Fortnite llama. I had Minecraft, um, Zelda, all bunch of stuff. So I, we, Jackson and five of his friends from homeschool group got to do that. After that, some of our friends hung around. It's the friends that, I haven't vlogged in a while. Um, friends that had invited us to church a few weeks ago, so we, the kids and I have been attending church on Sundays, which has been really great. Will unfortunately can't attend because it's during his work hours. So they stayed and hung out a bit. Um, Alice had actually gone with, this story is getting confusing. Anyway, Alice had, after church, Alice had gone home with her friend and their dad, and then I took the mom and the son home with us because they were coming to the play date. So Alice went on a play date at her friend's house and the mom and son came here. So after the play date, the dad brought Alice home and then kind of hung out. We all just kind of hung out and stuff. And I was going to, I offered to make dinner if they'd like to stay. I had an every plate uh, box arrive and I, I just did like three two person meals of chicken fajitas cause that way I can just do a big batch cooking of like the same recipe. And if you haven't checked out every plate, there's a link down below. You can check them out and get $20 off your first delivery. We love them and we, we've used them continuously over the last few years. So I offered to make dinner. So I'm in the kitchen, you know, and our kitchen layout, like I was right over here chopping veggies and stuff and you can see across the bar and they're just over here, like very open. So we're like chatting and stuff and just talking while I'm chopping onions and peppers. And my knife slipped out of my hand and it has a very heavy handle. They're very good knives that Will got me last year for either my birthday or anniversary or something like that. He had upgraded my kitchen last year. I don't know if you remember, I got all new like stainless steel Cuisinart and I got my KitchenAid mixer and a new knife set. Anyway, these knives are sharp and they're very heavy handled. <laughs> the handle is very, very heavy is what I meant to say. It slipped out of my hand and I was barefoot and I went to go like jump out of the way and move my foot and the knife got my pinky toe. And I'm a baby when it comes to stuff like this. Like if someone's hurt, I don't want to see how bad it is because it freaks me out. So I instinctly, instinct, is that the word? My instincts told me, put, I put my other foot on top of it to try and stop the bleeding because I didn't want to look at it. So I just have my leg crossed, my other foot's on top of it and I put my head down. I'm like, I just dropped a knife into my foot. I don't know how bad it is. Will was not in the room. So I was like, babe, come here, please. And I was, they're like, you're being very calm. So no one really thought anything of it. Well, then the kids came over and looked and it was like pouring out blood from my pinky toe. So then the kids were like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then so our friends were like, oh, are you okay? Like maybe something's happening here. So I walked from the kitchen. At this point, Will was down here. I walked from the kitchen and I went to go sit down, like a trail of blood through the kitchen. On my rug, droplets of blood, like all the way through the kitchen. Like it was bleeding way more than a small pinky toe should. So Will looked at it and we thought it might need stitches because it did look like it was gaping quite a bit and it, it was like it was just pouring blood. So he band he like put a bandaid on it and wrapped it with um, like the self adhesive gauze. And uh, one of our friends called one of the urgent cares around here and to see if they did stitches on <laughs> at the urgent care walk in. And they said yes. So we get in the car and we're leaving and we get not even, like two minutes down the road and I was like. I'm gonna peek at it and see if we really need to be going to get stitches. Cause if we don't, like I'm gonna feel ridiculous walking in there with like a slice on my toe that didn't need stitches. So I unwrapped it and it had slowed down. The bleeding had slowed down. It was still really gross and like open. But I was like, I don't think, it, I said, I think because it was such a clean cut cause the knife was so sharp, 
like when we when he had wrapped it he wrapped it really tight and so it had already started to like close very cleanly so we turned around and came back and um, we ordered pizza and just had a fun night of chatting and making fun of me for almost cutting my toe off and I said that's what I get for trying to be hospitable and cook dinner for friends so that was my exciting story um, I'm gonna have a cute little scar I would show you my foot but I know some people are not cool with feet so I'm not going to but it's about I don't know three quarters of an inch long just a slice all the way across like it wraps around my pinky I don't even know how it happened it only got my pinky toe and it kind of wraps around it I don't know how it didn't get the toe next to it but I was lucky we didn't need stitches and it's healing nicely so thank god for sharp knives because otherwise it could have been way worse so that was an exciting story for you now I'm gonna go do my chapter because I have uh, less than a half hour now so all right, if you have been around a while on my channel, you know that we get Nutstop quite frequently. Um, yay! So Nutstop is doing a giveaway for one of you. I am going to list some of our favorite products down in the description box below um, to kind of show you what we get. If you've been around, you know Will's favorite product is... Chocolate covered cherries. Chocolate covered cherries. Do you know how many bags I got for you this time? Not enough. Five. Not enough. So yes. <laughs> So he loves the chocolate covered cherries. He can vouch for those. He uh, he, he just loves them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And some of the other stuff we've got like chocolate covered pretzel balls were really good. Yeah. Um, but we'll list some of our favorite. I'll have each of us kind of pick a favorite or so because we've been getting that stuff for a while, like a year or two. So good lunch snacks. Good yes. Snacks in general. And so they're giving. Uh, they're going to do a giveaway to one of you. Uh, details will be down below. You'll have to follow that stop and myself on Instagram and just enter and they will choose a winner. Um, again, all the details. I don't have dates and stuff off the top of my head. All of that will be below and they will choose a winner for some free new products. So we ordered, I just got a bag of like starlight peppermints because Alice and I love those. Um, some fruit slices, good old fruit slices. Their prices are great on the website by the way. Fruit sours, which are kind of like sour um, jelly beans. And they include, I mean, it's, they're kind of warm now, but it does help, um, ice packs. So it looks like this one did get a little melty. These, I think, uh, milk chocolate peanut clusters. So, yum. We got some milk chocolate raisins. Great for school lunches. Some yogurt covered peanuts. I was gonna get raisins and they were out of stock. So we got the yogurt peanuts. Uh, check down below, enter for the uh, giveaway and we just love their products. All right, friends, it is 11 o'clock. I'm home. I actually got home mm, about 45 minutes ago, um, and I just wound down. I got the kids in bed, and I sat and had some time with Will, and he's in bed now. Um, washed my face and took my contacts out, and I'm going to do, honestly, I'm probably going to see if there's anything that I'm behind on on either. Well, I know I'm behind on watching my, my favorite YouTube channels. I'm gonna possibly sit down, <clears throat> excuse me, and see if there's anything on Hulu or Netflix just so I can wind down a little bit and decompress. So thanks for coming along today. I know it wasn't like a full day, but I got that bathroom cleaned and I'm very excited about that. So that was my main goal for today other than, you know, having fun at small group tonight. So it is the next day and we went to go get our hair done. Alice is the only one that got it done because they didn't have my color. I have to go next week. Do you notice that? There she is. Turn around. Oh, goodness. So she got it cut and layered in purple. What do you think? I like it. You like it? Was it fun? What was your favorite part? The, the washing. The washing. I liked the washing and the metal thing that went down my hair. It that was, was a comb. No, it wasn't. The piece where she parted it? Yeah. It was a special comb used to part. It did was, it tickle your head? Yeah, it, it was, was like a cold. It was like a pick comb, like a it metal. Yeah, I love it. Very nice. And then Mama gets hers done next week. I look like um, Mal from The Descendants. Cool beans. High five. Tell them we'll see him on the next one. Bye. See you on the next one.